Modern TV Review is your girl, Lynette. And it's your boy, Stanley. Coming in with this week's power. It's yeah. all your fault. I'm not even gonna lie. This was good this week. Yeah, this was a good episode. Man. We could have like summarized parts one and two, and we really could have just picked up right here. Right here. And I would have been satisfied. Because I think for the last couple of weeks, y'all just been like, <laughs> Yeah. I did I wasn't mad at last week's episode, but I was like, I could have lived without that too. I mean, how many times did we see the gun? Unload, unload. Nobody sees her walking around New York where you're not supposed to be able to carry exactly. with this gun all willy-nilly as might be with sack. Yeah. So let's go ahead and get into the YouTube thing. If you are new here, yeah. welcome to the channel. I know we've gotten a ton of new subscribers and every week I forget to formally say hello to all of you all. And if say you're an OG, <laughs> thank you for coming back each and every week. We do appreciate Indeed. that. Go ahead and do us a favor. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Go ahead and rate the video thumbs up or thumbs down like I already told you. If you're already here, you've already been counted. Exactly. So, so let's get into this, but I'm going to do something a little differently this week hey. because last week y'all were on it in the comments yes, section. Yes, y'all were. What yes, indeed. <laughs> Might be felt all the love that y'all had for him on last week, but it was one comment that stood out among all of the comments and I actually copied that and sent it to Mike B. My God doing so. And he got a good key key out of this one right here. And this one was from PD Lulu. It said, Mike B shot ghosts and went into hiding. <laughs> Mike B wants y'all to know he didn't skip to do it with ghosts being shot. <sighs> then the next comment that sat out to me was from Christopher Haper. It said, Paz works at a salon but couldn't fix her son's eyebrows. BK's, BK's loved one says, how did Paz even get into truth with a whole gun? Yeah. A metal detector, yet they all wait, already had a shooting incident with that stage robbery. Just lazy writing. The whole situation. <laughs> and I agree. So let's get into it. It's all your fault. Like I said, this was everything to me. Yeah, and it yeah. took so many emotional turns that I was not. Yeah, it did. I wasn't prepared for it. It took so many hours and expect for it to turn. No, which, yeah. which makes it even harder for me because if something happens to my time, and y'all know. If y'all be in front of the beginning, I've always said, Tommy can kill everybody. And I'm still team Tommy. I don't know what the hell it is. It's maybe something wrong with me. Maybe I'm just as crazy as Tommy. But if something happens to Tommy at this point right here, it's going to take me down, man. It's going to take you out. Because after this episode, I was like, <laughs> kind of like when, when Dre went out, I was like, his mama bucked him up, man. Yeah. So you're trying to find out that. What they doing ain't all they fault. You know, yeah. they, have, they have a little bit of help. They had a little um, childhood trauma. Like yeah. the rest of us did. I just ain't killed nobody. Yeah. But, but I appreciate this episode. They uh, they filled in some gaps for us. Because uh, we always, we wondered what the hell happened to Benny's body. So we see how he got disposed of. He got compacted in that freaking raggedy got on ambulance. From uh, <laughs> when the yeah, show went to the junkyard, yeah, to the junkyard. I don't know where they took them to after that. It don't uh, even matter because the, the water money took care of them. Exactly. Uh, we learned that Kate didn't know that Keisha was dead. I thought she knew, but yeah, I did too. She did not know that Keisha was dead because y'all remember he was sitting in the car after uh, he disposed of Benny. He was going through the motions, and she was like, "I don't know what is it that you're going through." But you need to call that girl with the nice handbags and all that good stuff. Hey, get her to help you out. Like, get her to help and you. I was so mad with Kate because I said, hold on, Kate. This is your it's, opportunity right here. How many times have your son and I, y'all got the weirdest, twist, most twisted relationship ever. Uh -huh. But how many times has he come through for you in a crunch when you out there fiending, can't yep. get your rocks off, and he come through as crazy now as want, it sounds. Now you want to send him to somebody else. <laughs> and the moment that he needs you in, in your three series, Go call your girlfriend, which which was right. This is what she signed up for, but she dated, <laughs> and now you know. And he don't told you, my kids was dead, and they say it as if the goldfish dead. Like yeah, like, yeah, like she was just yeah, like so whatever. many people die on these people that when they say Keisha dead. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> I just I just hope that this show don't ever make me insensitive to death in real life. Right, like. Uncle Jay did? Oh, oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's how nah, we did it. 
Nah, I don't want to get like that. No, nah. I, I definitely want to get like that. <laughs> but yeah, we had, we definitely had some very crucial, crazy, kind of tear jerking turns in this goddamn episode. Yeah. So the first time in history we hear Tommy wanting to leave Queens, New York, because the pressure has gotten too great for him. Now, he didn't move out and he moved yeah. to Jersey, yeah. but he was close enough that he could still go back and forth and do his business. Yeah, but he, but wanted, now he wants out. He wants out. He wants to go to Cali. Shout out to the orange juice bottle. Hey, but he have a monkey that him rose up. This got doing recording of him killing him and ghost. Somebody said, you know I'm saying they killed Lobos. So now he can't go nowhere yet because he, he, he got to take care of that. And this is what brought back um, Lisa Marie, because we all wonder when the hell she at. Is she still with Uncle Ben? Is is Uncle Benny still taken care of? So we come to find out, yes, she's still at Uncle Benny. And, but he uh, ain't dead yet. But he ain't dead at the moment. Yeah. So Tommy has to rattle together to get over to Lisa Marie because freaking uh, Lisa Marie, we saw that her and the aunt was listening to the tape and she was like, okay, we need to do something about this. So that's when they brought in Tariq. And Tariq acting like he don't know Tommy or Ghost. I'm like, Tariq. That's okay. Tariq. Um, I'm not Le even mad at it. I mean, but she, he kind of know Lisa Marie know that was bullshit, you know? I mean, so. <laughs> but he had like, but that's what information got back to Tommy through him because he heard the recording that you need to get the recording because it got on there the UN Ghost, Kill Lobos or whatever. So that's when Tommy had to go over there to try to kidnap Lisa Marie. And the thing about it is Lisa Marie recognized the voice on the recording. Yep. And she was like, I know that guy. I know Tommy. So yeah. she's trying to piece one, two, and three together to make four, the equal yep. to four. And she's like, okay. I said, Lisa Marie, yep. you just got pulled into <laughs> the life life and you don't even know it, yeah. girl. And see like she about it a little bit too. She got rid of real mysterious looking. That's yeah. always been a very creepy, mysterious looking girl. Yeah. And the whole family. Yes. <laughs> so yeah, so we see this episode that because Benny is missing, got Don Vincent now is underwater with his, I guess it's his great uncle or whatever. Uh what his name was Carlos. Uh who's no. Nah. I ain't I, gonna fit in the room. Yeah, Y'all yeah. yeah, know his <laughs> uncle. He being blamed for all the stuff now. So he getting blamed for uh, freaking Tony Teresi bringing him into the fold. Now he's getting blamed because Benny is missing. You need to fix all this skit. So Vincent has to pretty much make things right. Uh, and give up two of his guys. Yeah, give up two of his guys. To protect the house. To, exactly. Of the family. Exactly. Of Uncle Benny until yep. they figure out if anything happened to Benny and what happened? No, yeah. Uncle Benny. So, so yeah, well, Auntie was getting ready to leave, and this is how I know that Lisa Marie is about that life, because she was like, I want to go. Where you going? I, I, I don't know where you going, but take me. <laughs> Y'all don't put her in some kind of school. Put her in, put her in private school or something. Put her, take her to choke. <laughs> Tariq ain't going. Said she ain't scared. Take me. I said, oh, oh, okay. So, she was like, Nah, you can't go. Got them two men out there, they're gonna protect you, and she's looking like booze kid. <laughs> I thought that, uh, and this is just the female in me. I was like, you as another female leave this young girl to be bodyguarded by these two men that she don't even know. Yeah, I don't trust people like that. Nah, I was like, that's a little shakes. weird. I would have just taken the little girl with me and took one of the guys and took them in the car yeah. so that I can make sure that while I'm handling my business, I can peek out there in the car and make sure there ain't no skip going down huh? because we don't play like that. And I knew that they weren't going to be able to protect her and I, she knew that they weren't because time had got past them two jokers like it wasn't nothing. It, yeah, too easy. Too easy. So that's how he was able to kidnap Lisa Marie. I said so. <laughs> but here's the thing. He went up there to question Lisa Marie. She quickly gave him what yeah. he wanted, but then yep. she stopped talking. And he was like, I don't heard you speak before. And you were talking, you were speaking like a connect. Uh, Why did you, you talk now? Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to just say, boop, 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 boop. come on, let's go, let's go. Since you can't speak right now, come on, bring your hind parts and let's go. I said, Tommy, what you gonna do with a whole kid? A whole kid. 
it. But while we on this, Lisa Marie, we're gonna we're gonna kind of talk through that whole thing because this was kind of good. It was a good part. This was one of the best parts of the show. So Tommy had to go handle his business. So Kate had to babysit Lisa funny. Marie. So she in there braiding her hair. And so Kate getting to run in her mouth. I mean, run it. Just, she just run in her mouth and talking about her daddy and how all this stuff. And then she almost leaked out that Jamie was ghost. And that's when Tommy had just came and said, Ma, didn't I tell you don't? Why is you talking to him? Why are you talking to him? But so she, she had already said, I have another son. And that's how Lisa Marie was like, another son? Did, you, did he have a nickname? <laughs> said, well, Jamie, it, that's like he said, that's when Tommy walked in and stopped yep. it. And stopped it. So, and, and that's when we, then, <laughs> uh, this is when we saw when uh, Paz <laughs> come busting the door. So we thought that he was Pretty much transition of getting rid of Benny, Benny, body. Benny body, but he was actually hiding Lisa Marie and mama. So that's what that was all about. So I'm glad they filled that in. But we pause were... spilled the beans on being that James Jamie is was ghost. ghost. Yep. And Lisa Marie was like, Case friggin' son. Uh huh. <laughs> I know who it is on that tape now. Now, so they had to leave. And so this is kind of where it started getting real when it was in the car and they started talking and. Lisa Marie started spilling the beans, was like, you know, I'm feeling lonely and, you know, my mama, you know, I found out that my mama was, you know, a crackhead and and uh, I found out that my daddy let her die. Y'all saw all of it. And she had this ring that she wanted. Yeah. And she was like, it was so beautiful because Lisa Marie had found the ring. Did she find it? Yes. The, yeah, the ring. The ring yeah. And Tommy was going to get to Lakeisha and started questioning it. Uh -huh. So the whole thing came up about her mama having a ring that she wanted so badly. Yeah. When she got married, she just wanted that ring. But her mama got, uh, wanted to get high and pawned the ring off. And she told Tommy, she said, is it bad yeah. that I missed the, the ring, ring more than I missed my mom? I said, yeah. yeah. And for the like, but I get it. For the first time besides with Tasha that I actually seen Tommy actually connect with somebody without with his guards down. Yeah. It was like, whoa. Because he could relate because he was told Lisa Marie, my mama was on drug with a bad and she forsook me and da da da. So she really, 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 really got him. And then what really got me was she told him, I know that you killed my daddy now. And he said, I don't want to talk about I that. I don't want to talk about that. And she did not try to do anything. So I'm like, is she really, like we talk about, is she studying the game? Yeah. Or was and that she her? realized yeah. that this, this, is how, this is how it works. This is how daddy got himself into some stuff. And he got his eight handed to him. And that's that's what comes with it. So I, but she was right calm. But she... I mean, she had Tommy. The little though. girl is weird. Yeah, but she no, had Tommy. <laughs> she had Tommy though. She had. She had him. I said, "Oh, Tommy." Yeah, she had him. So we move along, uh, and we'll come back and talk about Lisa Marie a little bit more at the end. But uh, Tommy was headed over the truth, and he ran, <laughs> he ran into Bianca, and he was not Bianca. It's Bianca. Blanca. Blanca. He run into block. He was like, "What's with you, Puerto Ricans and long, and long pants? You just can't get rid of y'all." <laughs> <laughs> so Puerto Rican in the pants. So she proceeds to give him this package with Keisha's goods in it, and he was like, "Nothing comes from the feds for free. What the hell do you want?" Then she proceeds to try to get him to snitch. You know, Tommy is not going to snitch. He said, what kind of buck stop do you think this is? <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, I can give you immunity for the murder of, what did I plop? What did I? Yeah. What was his name? Uh, uh Poncho? Yeah, somebody. What, yeah, somebody. But whatever. But this was. He was the, like, who? This, huh? That's an effed up name. <laughs> yeah. This, I don't know what like, that is. good one. You played that one good, Tommy. <laughs> so this was. The piece where we was on like, how is Tommy gonna find out that Keith that uh Tasha killed Keisha? How is he gonna find that out? So he we saw in the episode where he started started studying the package and he saw Tasha's earrings in the got on evidence bag. And I was like, how yeah, like you said, how are you gonna put that together? And, and he, that yeah. earring was so significant yep. because that's the pair of earrings that yep. Polly 
all those got her hand, her butt handed to exactly. her. Exactly. Because she tried to steal it from Tasha. So that's when he put it together and he ended up over there at Tasha house and I was like, it, it is. can't go down like this, bro. That, you know, I said, not your sister. Yeah, man. not your sister. But so. your sister gave you up last week, too. Yeah, to she did. So. Yeah, yeah, she did. Yeah, she did. When he we... said, you home alone, Tasha? <laughs> <laughs> you know she home alone because she ain't yeah. never got that goddamn daughter hurt. Yeah, we don't know where she She stayed at Big Mama house. Yep. Big Mama better be claiming that baby is independent. Huh? And she better be getting some kind of food stamp for us. something. Hmm. Get some cab crunch, King Vitamin. Y'all remember King Vitamin? Do you so? Back in the day. That's that cheap good cereal too, huh. boy. She better be getting that cheese that you that's, got to slice. That's, that's that one cereal that you can it can set in the milk for 15 minutes and still be hard. Because it's cardboard. Yeah. <laughs> and it was good cardboard back in the day. <laughs> Ain't nothing like no King Vitamin. Now we got that pasta Captain Crunch. <laughs> so, Tasha is over there. She got to stay her case to get out this kit. Because she don't want it to go down like this. So she was like, I had to kill Keisha. Head, the, over there on the, uh, uh, what you call this teddy bear, is the documentation where she signed that she was getting ready to roll over on us. So I tried to reason with her, <laughs> and she didn't want to listen. So I had to do what I had to do. Thomas said, I don't believe you. She said, look at the paper. That's her signature. That's her signature on there. I didn't forge that. Her bags were packed. Tommy said we just moved in the house. Everything's yes, packed. <laughs> she was like, Tommy, think about it. And then he had this look. When she turned her back to him, she said, if it has to go hey, down like that, yeah, it'll go down like take that. care of my children. Yeah, take care of the children. Tariq and all. Um, he said, okay. She turned her back on that sucker. I said, nope, I can't don't watch Don't do it, this. Tommy. Don't do it, Tommy. Don't then do Tommy it. Then Tommy looked over a little bit. Yeah. And yeah. I said, what you see? What the fuck did you see or did you have a moment yeah. of clarity? Yeah, and the Lord showed you something. <laughs> and he walked out. And he walked out. I was like, oh, now that, that would have been crazy because I know that he pissed off at Tasha, but I don't think he had in his heart to do that. I don't think Tasha could do anything to cause him to do that. Because you got to remember, Tasha is the one that took care of all the evidence for them. Tasha kept them out of handcuffs As Tommy through this was whole safe. situation. There are no friends in this game. But Did see, you see how him and Ghost was trying to kill each other? But in the game, when somebody gets your heart, it's hard to have to pull that trigger, man. Because it's beyond just the game. We family. It's hard to pull the trigger on family, man. I wouldn't know. But I ain't that hard. But I think he didn't pull the trigger on family because he realized Keisha, Keisha was family, but Keisha wasn't as close to her. To him, as she was to Tasha. So he knew that that was really hard for her to have to pull the trigger on her family. Yeah. Yeah. That was a, best friend's sister yeah, right yeah, there. Yeah, exactly. That's, that was much more than just a chick that you just met down the street. And it wasn't hard. You are, yeah, exactly. So I think that's probably the only reason that she got out of that. Hmm. I, I said, Lord, we're going to see a dead Tasha today. <laughs> and after that, she should have took her tail right to the church. Yep. To the Kojic church. Where he <laughs> shouted. She should have went down there with a musical. Mm -mm 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 <laughs> so we see uh, Mr. Vincent comes after Tommy in this episode. And y'all saw it. Uh, Tommy had to end up taking him out. You had to pretty much turn away because Tommy I did turn away. Tom, yeah, Tommy was. I mean, he knocked up meat off his cheek. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, that's how bad it was. I yeah. mean, he just he's. And I was like, you know what? It was time for Vincent to go anyway. It was. Yeah, his his time was had been up. So. He's supposed to be such a dude. He's supposed yeah. to be that in, in the streets. Yeah. But Vincent has been getting his tail handed to him ever mm -hmm. since. Yep. Talk the whole Tony Teresi thing popped up. Yep. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, you got played by Tariq, a kid. <laughs> I mean, there's a <laughs> lot going on with you, Vince. And your whole thing has been trying to undo your mess ups the entire time. Yep. Now you got to go over there and pretty much be slave yep. to Benny's family, to a family that pretty much don't punk you into submission. <laughs> because you bucked up. Yep. So I'm like, yeah, it, it's time for old Vincent to go. Yeah, it was time for him to to exit stage left. Yeah. <laughs> I pointed well, right. I know. Uh, yeah. Uh huh. 
Yeah, I messed but up. But on the cameras, most of the stuff is backwards anyway, so yeah. sometimes we don't know yeah. which way it's going to look when we hit the camera. Yeah, but anyway. so I'm really on Stanley's left side. Yeah. Yeah, whatever. It don't yeah. matter. Like, my finger, <laughs> it don't even matter. Don't matter. <laughs> so, here was another freaking turning point of the episode that I love that Tommy had to admit to Ghost that I did that. I know for sure that you did not kill Keisha. Because <laughs> he knew that that was revenge back from Ghost. And he had to, and, and just to make the matters even go further, it wasn't at this part, but as we learn as we go further, he had to admit that Ghost was about, was freaking right about everything. That Ghost had nothing to do with his shop getting broken into, any of that stuff. All the snitching, Ghost did in none of that stuff. So I was like, Tommy had to admit that? Yeah. And he did it with sincerity too. <laughs> he was like, no, nah, he didn't do that. And he actually had to go and talk to Tariq because yeah. this whole time, Tommy and Tariq have been kind of like, uh, yeah. to take Ghost out. And now he's having to tell Tariq, listen, bro. No, nah, we can't do it. We, we ain't going to be able it. to do this. It was a big misunderstanding. Uh -huh. He was like, sometimes children just don't understand Same. everything that's going on with their parents. And we see it one way when it is totally different. He yeah. said, look at me and Teresi. He said, it took him to die for me to realize that it wasn't the way that I thought, thought it was. It was. Yep. I don't want you to have to go through that because... Now I've learned that it's not even like that. Yep. And Tariq don't want to hear none of that. He was no, like, he well, was he like, did this. He like, he did, did yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. We were taking him out. We back it out. <laughs> he was like, your father has done a lot of things. But this? He did none of this. As uh, yeah. Fitness Set would say, uh, whatever they say he did, he did that skit. Well, he like, didn't do I knew this. it this time. He, did, he finally <laughs> didn't do the skit. But Tariq don't. But did y'all see how Tariq was all bossed up? Uh huh. Listen, Come on now. <laughs> I almost respected him a little bit. He just rolled up in there. Yeah, uh -huh. He said, what you doing with this trench coat on? Look like ghosts. He said, I just gave him the truth. I had to, uh -huh. You know, pretty much I had to be the show and tell for the moment. <laughs> <laughs> That's when we had, we seen where, uh, when we saw when uh, Tommy and Dre saw each other, Dre was in the car, Tommy was like, was like what the heck was that? That was at the point we saw now where Tommy was going in to save Ghost. Because and knew, this was yeah, he knew at that moment yeah. that the only person that would be able to get close enough to Ghost to take him out right now would be Dre. Yep. Mm -hmm. And he was like, I got to get over there in order to save them. So this is the first time in this show that from when I, we started watching it, that Tommy actually had to try to save Ghost. He did. Is he, he did not. That's all that. I mean, that's the only problem time I could think of. Cause usually Ghost is saving him out of the bus skin. I could be wrong. I can't remember everything. I'm wrong, y'all. No, y'all let me know. Yeah, y'all let me know in the comments. And this was crazy because when he walked in and saw a Ghost on the floor, he was like, "No, no, we we gotta call it. We gotta call the ambulance. We're we gonna get. You know, you can live. You know, we done been through worse things than this. And you saw that brother connection again, man." He's like, no, don't leave yeah. me, Ghost. Don't leave me, Ghost. Who did yeah. this? Did Dre do it? He said, mm, no. Mm -hmm. Dre didn't do this. Yep. And you remember back when he met Tariq, he was like, we family. We need to get the family back together. He sound like uh, Eddie Kane. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. Dang. I know that we need to get the family back together. Dang. <laughs> <laughs> Not like this. I wish Raindrops would fall. They said, Night Night is, ah, we. Let me stop fooling with y'all today. I ain't got to work tomorrow, so we on one tonight. Yeah, yeah. And it's burning up in this room, too, on these All lights. All they got lights, man. <laughs> y'all don't know what we had to go through to pull man, this off. Man, I was sweating. I feel like I'm in a sauna right now. I think I don't lost about 10 pounds. I feel like getting naked. I actually <laughs> could be naked from the waist down. Y'all would never know. Take, take it off. Take it off. Boom, boom. Take it off. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy in here, y'all. So, <laughs> when he was on the floor, I was like, the show is over. Ghost is gone. I mean, it was that, it was that closure. And Tommy was looking up and was like, what the? no, no, not you. And Ghost was like, let it go. Let it go. Because at first and we thought he said, let her go. Let her go. He we were said, wide yeah, he said, let it go. Let it go. Because the only person I could think that he would say that about would be Tariq. See, that's what I told Stella. That, yeah, I said, that's, yeah. 
Tommy was ready to take whoever that it was, was out because they killed his brother. And when Go said, let it go, the only person that I think that Tommy would put his gun down for would be Tariq. Yeah. Because you mean to tell me that if anybody else in he that lineup... He would have did it for Councilman Tate. Yeah. And he would have did that for Sachs. Because matter of fact, you could be the next one because their yeah. enemies are usually their enemies. Exactly. If Ghost got an enemy, he's usually an enemy. Because he only got three left. That's the only three. Sachs, Tate, and um, Tariq. No, it's got four. And Tasha. And Tasha. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Now, I or, would say it, it could, could be Tasha, Tasha it could but be. at the same token, you just pulled a gun out yeah, of Tasha. Tasha. So, so yeah. I don't know if he would have turned his back and put his weapon down if yeah. Tasha was standing there and she, knowing that he... I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. But it's one of them two jokes yeah, right there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, either contestant number one oh, or no, contestant no. number two. Well, one of them is going on that showcase. But I was like, man, I did feel kind of some kind of way with Ghost being dead, but I was like, and then it, when it led end, to this right here. It's like... This is, yeah. Yeah. And at the end, he, we ain't gonna have no dead ghosts because somebody dreaming. Yeah. But. Uh, <laughs> It'll mess us up. <laughs> now, this was a part that freaking pissed me off. Spank it. What the hell is you doing walking around like you didn't just snitch? You walking around with your juice and freaking cake. All willy nilly and everything. You hear Tommy roll up on you, <laughs> and then you gonna talk to him all nice. Where you going? Where you going? <laughs> you going yeah. you going? Are we? Are See, we doing a TikTok right now? This would have needed to happen because you know you was gone. You know you know how Tommy is. You know by now Tommy know that you out the fin because you snitch. And your boy told See, on you quickly. When you heard Tommy's call, it should have been like the Olympics. <laughs> the Olympic sprinters when they hit the when the gun go pop. When you heard the car go vroom, your goddamn tail should have sprinted down that goddamn road <laughs> as fast as you could. You should have went to somebody's bodega or something, got you a sandwich or something. And of course, y'all knew Tommy, he going around with the game, shot this ninja race straight in his goddamn eye. At least if you had took off running, at least you could have had a chance. Yeah. But you standing there. <laughs> yeah, I was getting your organization. Okay. <laughs> yeah. You said, like, where you going? Thomas said, Vontae, I got a key. Uh, California. Bob. <laughs> I, 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 I told you I need somebody like Tommy on my team. Yeah. And if you know the having the gun rally here too? Let me Definitely see. need time about And for all, all of us that I want to say probably 40 and under, they had to put the Warren G in there at the end when Tommy was riding off. I guess he's going to California. I don't know. That was going too smoothly. For yeah. Me. Yeah. But they put the Warren G regulator in there for it. Did y'all care? <laughs> hey. I said, okay. But you know what that took me back to? Y'all remember the movie Bud Rim? That's how they ended that mm -hmm. movie, too. Yeah. But you've got to talk about Kate. Oh the yeah, whole yeah. Reason that we got yeah, the title yeah, 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 yeah. I got the yeah. episode. Yes, yes. I got to go back. I'm glad. I got, I got it right here on paper. Right there. Right there. It's cool, baby. It's cool. Okay. I okay. got that. You got me. I got you. I always do. This was the time right here where we really found out what Kate really thought about timing. <laughs> she was pissed off because she said. He was the one that killed God Don't Go. I mean, she he told well, he her told that he, he gonna told her to do it. So she was like, I know what it is now. You jealous of him because he got all the girls. You know. He's he, always better than he's you. He's always better than you. He was he's smarter. Smart. He saw beyond uh freaking Queens, New York. And you was jealous. So that's why you killed him. And I was mad with Kate because I was like, ha ha ha. Wait a minute. The one time that your son said that he wanted to leave, where you gonna oh, go? Yeah, you don't know yeah. nobody. But all of a sudden, Ghost gets accolades yeah. for wanting to get out of Queens. Wait a minute, Kate. And see, Kate, that's when y'all gonna get me on my soapbox, as James Caldwell would say. These goddamn crackheads <laughs> will get into your life, will buck their children's lives smooth up, mm -hmm. and then want to criticize them for all the wrong moves that they have made in their lives. Huh. I would guess that Ghost would be a better child than um, her, your own son because your son was raising his freaking self. Yep. 
<laughs> now, the reason that Ghost came to you, he came to you a little later, but he had some foundational things when he came to your house. Yeah. So you didn't get to buck him up as much as you bucked Tommy up. <laughs> so now that Tommy don't got bucked up because of your skin, now all of a sudden, yeah. All of a sudden, as the no. preacher would say, late in the midnight hour, uh, while you were smoking crack, now you want to get in there and act like your son is white. No. <laughs> That's all your freaking fault. You just, you just, just. I clicked off yeah, for a minute. Yeah, you clicked off. I'm back. You back? You sure? Mm -hmm. back? I'm back. And then she could tell him, said, <laughs> told him to go to hell. I don't or need you no more. Go, go to hell or go to California. They both the same thing. <laughs> I Say, I don't even need you no more because Ghost, Ghost have left me some money. Like, wait a minute. And that pissed me off too as if to say, my real son, the good son, yeah. don't left me well off so you can go. I don't even need you for no stuff no more. That was Buzz Kid, man. Really? Really, Kate? Yep. Really? And this old time it. He left you something too. Tell me what to look at it. Not in here. here. Go, 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 go. What? So you just, just. Kate. Kate. But like every, like y'all said last week, uh, I know it's because they throwing stuff on us. We haven't seen no funeral yet, but we seen all this money being passed out. Yeah, some of y'all said that in the comments last week. Yeah. Yeah, but they just skip it all around. We got two more episodes. Let's not and we got get an empire on us. And people on empire don't give you. We got three, three suspects or four suspects. Four. We just yeah. said that. Yeah, whatever. Whatever. Yeah, but. Ball... spray this chair with some WD-40. <laughs> yeah, she is a little nausea. Yeah, she is. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. <laughs> Stay from the V-head. <laughs> no, one more part. Uh-oh. <laughs> one more part. We almost forgot. What? That Tommy went and paid Lisa Marie a visit. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's what I was going That's what I was going next yeah. day when, before we met. Yeah. Yeah. So, she went on back to me. He went on back over to Lisa, Lisa Marie. And she gave him both of the recordings. And he told her... He said, I understand. See, that's when she told her, told him that, uh, I know you killed my daddy. Yeah, that's what he said. <laughs> that's when he was like, I'm neither going, going to confirm or deny that. But if one day you come looking for me. And you come to see me. I understand. I, understand. <laughs> I said, whoa. So with her. And with, she looked at him like, maybe I will. And I was like, man, I'm like, you gave, you you know what happened. You know Lisa Marie what happened. You, you still so nice. Cause she planned to kill Tommy. Man. That's what I'm thinking, man. I'm thinking, <laughs> you know, you trick him out because look, when because y'all remember back when she was talking to her auntie, she and when auntie was trying to lie and be like, yeah, he alright, cause she was like, well, Uncle Benny at, and he was like, he alright, you know, he tough, he can handle it himself, you know, he big man, he good. She was like, when the last time did she did he text? <laughs> Cause we cause have to have hour by hour, hour confirmation of, of life. life. I said, I said, dang, <laughs> yes, yeah, you do. Is that how it works? Straight from the VA. Turn, turn, turn. Two up, two down, holla. <laughs>